Attention, Michael's Wednesday game day rants are not reviews and may contain spoilers. You have been warned. Do you like bugs? Do you like pretending to be a bug? Do you imagine yourself flying around and pestering people and being a general nuisance? Well, you're in luck, my friend, because someone made a game just for you. And it's called Mr. Mosquito. I, I mean, Yars Recharged. I'm Michael. It's Wednesday, so that means it must be game day. Let the game rant begin. Tell me truthfully, did you ever think we'd get another Yars Revenge? No, not the Yars 2 or some ROM hack. An actual factual Yars game. Neither did I. You see, my experience with the original goes all the way back to the gaming crash of the 1980s. Back then there was a game store named KB Toys. And in a mall nearby me, there was a KB Toy Store, and I found Yars Revenge. Well, it, it was in a clearance bin just outside the store, but, but you get my drift. Crash a coming, yep. Everything video game related must go. Pepperidge Farm remembers the crash. So I picked up a complete inbox sealed copy of Yars Revenge for the low, low price of $5. And I proceeded to play it till my fingers bled. That was the summer of 83, or, or something like that. Anyways, I marveled at the graphics, the speed and the pace of the game. That bad guy that does that swirly thing and shoots itself at you, that was terrifying. And that tiny little line that would follow me, that was my childhood terminator. It just wouldn't stop until I was dead. I loved the heck out of that game. So cut to this year when I picked up a copy of Yars Recharged. Yars Needs Recharged. Or, or maybe it's Mars Needs Guitars. The first thing I said when booting up this game was, oh. It's a twin stick shooter. The second thing I said was, oh, oh, wait, you can eat in any direction just like you can fire in any direction? The third thing I said, well, well actually, there wasn't a third thing. I was so mesmerized with the gameplay, its frantic pace, its almost bullet hell like bullet spreads, its immediate joy when taking down that bad guy just one more time. And this is the Yars follow-up that I've been wanting if I knew that I was wanting a follow-up. Wait, anyway, seriously, if somebody had shown me this game like 10 years ago and told me I'd have to wait 10 years to play it, I'd be really pissed. Thank goodness we have it now. The graphics are amazing. They're crisp, and they have this aesthetic that Atari Recharge games are all going for. But it's really the gameplay which keeps me coming back for more. Oh yeah, and there's missions here too. It's not just arcade. You can take on different trials and try to beat them. The whole game has this just one more try kind of vibe to it. And I'm certainly never going to stop playing this game. I'm always going to give it just one more try. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to marathon session this thing or stream it live for 24 hours. But I will return to it from time to time to brush up on my bug skills. By the way, uh, when I wrote that bug skills, I spelled it with a Z thinking, oh, wouldn't it be funny if somebody saw that Oh, it's the 90s cool kind of thing? And then I was like, wait a second, none of you can see my scripts, so the reference, anyway, I edited it. <laughs> so, some notes. This was developed by Sneaky Box and Adam Vision Studios and published by Atari. The initial launch on most platforms was in August 23rd, 2022. It is available for Nintendo Switch. Microsoft Windows through Steam and the Epic Store, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, 
PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. My thoughts are based on playing the Xbox Series X version and video was captured on Xbox Series X using OBS. Final thoughts. Play it if you like twin stick shooters, arcade type games, or have some nostalgia for that old bug. Don't play it expecting some sort of epiphany in shmups. This isn't Masahima-sama. This is just a $10 recharge game published by Atari. They aren't cave.